So, here's a collection of highly professional videos for you all to watch. Clearly the cream of the crop. You know, that's why they ended up not on YouTube. Oh! Get used car tires, but maybe they'll have like really small... I don't even know what you would put for automotive, like... I don't know. And I'm leaving on a bluebird. Oh, wait, it's an international. I guess international bought Navistar or vice versa. Hmm. That'd be good. Yeah, I need some good music. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that leg's gonna come up. Yeah. I'm gonna lock it. I want to take your arm across because oh. this puts more pressure in your foot in the hip, mm -hmm. I'm going to cut an angle, mm -hmm. or no, but yeah, cut an angle, mm -hmm. go under this arm, this is going to come back, squeeze knees together, and pull ah. ah. you okay? Oh. You're <laughs> I thought the idea is he's not okay. <laughs> you need to cut more of an angle, and arm comes across, don't pull the arm to the same side across. So I was talking to my firstborn, and uh, she was talking about um, wanting to maybe try out for an acting part next year in the drama department at the school. And this year she was doing uh, costume design, yes? And she says, well, I, I want to do it, but, but I really like costume design. And I said, listen, if you want to be normal, like other people, you go right ahead and stay with costume design. But if you want to carry on the tradition of this family, your grandfather, your father, you want to be a jack of all trades, expert in none, then by golly, you need to try out for that part. Isn't that right? Firstborn? No. No? So you're just going to be good at one thing. I don't even know you. <laughs> Oh, he's so well behaved. I can't but look, he, he just set it down nicely. Did you expect that? I thought he'd be like going at it. Oh, oh there he goes. He's licking it. He doesn't even know how to eat a It's bone. the bone off of teeth. Well, yeah, because we usually don't give him bones. But he's getting older. So if the freak thing happens where it uh, kills the poor guy, at least he's lived a long life now. Oh man, oh, that's good stuff, huh? <laughs> good boy. Enjoy. You gonna watch me grill? Yeah? So we've got my... Got some charcoal and a piece of hardwood in there. It is ready for these pork chops. There we go. See if we can hear it sizzle. Just a little. Move them a little off to the side. We don't want them to cook too fast. Oh no, I scraped some of her secret sauce off of there. Alright. Oh. 
I had somebody come over one time and they say, your grill is filthy. Don't you ever clean it? <laughs> I said, uh, no, I don't want to scrape all the flavor off. <laughs> I'll let those sit on there for a while. And I guess we could, you know, some people like to put the, the sear marks on there after it cooks, some before. I don't know. I guess we can get, get some sear on there, huh? Let's see if I can get this onion back on there. My wife loves the onions. All right, let those get a good sear. Whew, I'll, let, I'll wait to flip them uh, until later. So every once in a while, the, the good old shark here, which, which we've become quite good, big fans of, needs something from us. It needs us to flip it over and clean it out. So in this case, I you know we didn't get alerted or anything, but it comes apart so easy. I love that about it. And you can say, oh, clearly it needs to go to the dock and suck out all this stuff. And then I've got a bunch of girls in the house, and the hair comes off so easy. Sometimes it'll wrap around. Oh, you had easier. long hair too. Oh yeah, you know? oh yeah. Look at that. Yep. It, it just comes off so much easier than the big vacuums uh, of the past. <laughs> Watch what you're looking at. Ripper! <laughs> Good afternoon. We've got my grandfather's high standard Sentinel 22 LR. And we're just going to kind of run some oil over it, a little WD-40. And then I don't have gun oil, but I've got some air tool oil that's pretty close, I think, if I'm about to do something horrible uh, and you're a, a gun cleaning expert, by all means, drop it in the comment. Let everybody know that I shouldn't be doing that. So, oh, so on this one, can you see this, camera lady? And I'm absolutely aware now, after the fact, uh, I just flagged the heck out of my daughter, so be careful when you're doing this. Now, obviously, I wouldn't put my finger in the trigger well, but that is not best practice. So be careful while you're cleaning. A lot of times, I mean, if you look at the statistics, uh, a lot of the accidental discharges go off when cleaning, so be careful. So you just pull this and slide it right out. And then to eject the shelves, you just push. All the time. You can see there's a few spents and a few lives. All right, camera lady, you want to head back over there. And the lives um, had actually been hit before. They've been struck. Uh, they, they didn't fire last time, so that's part of the reason why I am cleaning it. And so great thing about revolvers, I mean, it's just that fast and easy. You can see that you're clear now. Um, this is a double action. But anyway, without further ado, let's get cleaning. Uh, I'm just going to run a little bit of, sometimes I like to use the cap, see this, and I'll spray. I like doing it with that four nuts and bolts WD too, right in a cap. just let them soak. And then I can clean. And I told my camera lady she can get up and walk around. And uh, just kind of show you guys, however she wants to, what's going on here. And we'll probably start and stop it a few times. You can see how dirty already, right, camera lady? Pretty dirty. So I might flip that around. Very good. Well, I was dealing with someone who uh, works behind a desk today, and you know, when you get the attitude, I swear, I know I've heard, you've probably heard the expression before that work is a four-letter word. I, I think some people don't like to use it as a verb. They're like, it's a place. It's a place that I go to collect a check, but they don't want to do the work, the, the verb version. Come on, people. 
Work is a verb. That's okay. Take some pride in your work. Contribute, and you will be rewarded with that paycheck. Hmm. Anyway, thought from the recliner. Oh, okay. Hey, girls, can we go out back? You guys name drop all the time. Yeah. Say hey you instead of names. <laughs> hey you guys. Right, ready, Mama? Ready? Yeah, Ben. Okay, cool. We got our gutters laid out to, to go up on the house. We've got our drill with a one eighth bit. We've got our tin snips. We've got our. There, I like how there's screws, not nails, to secure the gutters up. We've got our rivets and our riveter, our pull pipe to uh, assemble things. We've got our sealant. We've got our drop. We've got our caps for the end. We've got our uh, angle pieces. We've got our mounts for the down spot. We've got everything we need, I think, laid out. So um, I actually already did the first thing, which was, and uh, I tried to like put them together. It's just so much easier if you trim a little piece off right here mm -hmm. so that the pieces will go together slide slide in real easy so I'm gonna go ahead and get some sealant on there and there's a lot of different ways you can as they say skin the cat um, for those folks that want to skin cats but uh, I love when the even the ch cheap cock guns have something to pierce the seal it's just long enough So, now, I also need to make a decision, do I want to put it up as one big piece or do I want to have individual pieces? And because I'm working by myself here, I'm probably going to have to just do it in pieces. So I'm going to hold off on this and get the first one up. From one end to the other, that's about 22, 23 feet. So I'm going to need just over, uh, just about an inch drop for that. I think I looked it up and it said a half inch drop per uh, 10 feet, so that's what we're going to go with. Good job. one way to rip a little here back up see track it that is what where are you going I'm trying to find it <laughs> that's one way see all you have to do is go 